Recently, Suno has released a whole slew of new tools that really is moving AI music forward in massive ways. On my last video, I talked a lot about the stem separator and how awesome it was and kind of did a brief talk about some of the new AI editing tools on here. Today, I'm gonna to do a deep dive into the editor and I'm gonna answer some of your questions when I do it. So let's get started. Okay, so to access the new editor, you have to be in your library or you can do it from down here. There's these three little dots you always wanna Check your little three dotted area because there's also where all the new stuff will be at. If you scroll over to your right here and you click on the remix edit button and you will get the open and editor. Now, this is for the pro users and the uh, people who are paying. This is not for free users. Unfortunately, I'm sure that they will probably come out with a version of this for free. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on this. So once this loads up here, uh, you will notice that you have a verse, intro, chorus, verse, chorus and whatever it will break it down for you if, if you let Suno create the song for you uh, to your left you have your lyrics and below here you have your styles uh, depends on what type of prompt you used if you just used a basic prompt it will just be a basic styles um, to get your stems you just I did go over this pretty good in the last video but I will show you guys a trick on the stems uh, you can click right here and if you've not downloaded stems at all you'll see the extract uh, stems or extract 50 credits and then extract 10 credits. Uh, the 50 is for the all detected stems and the 10 is for the vocals. But if you've already extracted your stems and went back and thought you couldn't find them, they're under this see extracted stems button, which is common sense, but I missed it once. So that's why I'm telling you guys. Uh, once you're in here, you can obviously separate your track and play whatever version that you generated. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to close that out. I'm going to talk about that just a little bit more here in just a couple minutes. Uh, so you can take and move your, um, your, your verse and your intro. You can swap these two out if you want to. Um, it could potentially be cool. It depends on what, how your song is uh, recorded or generated. Um, the, this is very punchy and very to the point kind of a rock song so it, it wouldn't make sense to have that intro to the after the verse so uh if you want to change any of your lyrics in this you can just clip on any part in the song on the lyrics box and it will change your you can change it it'll highlight what section if you see to the right here that section highlighting so that's where the lyrics are and this does okay it's not the best but it does do pretty good uh, and you can click here and you can edit this lyric. You can uh, take that word out or you can, you know, just whatever. So you can edit and it shows, as soon as you click the edit button, it shows where it's at on the song here itself. And then once you click, uh, it'll change the lyric, you will just hit your replace button down here and it will cost you 10 credits. So speaking of that, we're going to not do that. Uh, so say, for instance, you don't like this intro you can always click on this replace section button here and if this if the whole song is already AI generated then probably will work pretty well when you do this you can you have the option to redo your style a little bit if you want so maybe I've tried doing some extreme redos with like a bluegrass version of this but then it just kind of plays this and not even bluegrassy so it really doesn't go too far off the beaten track that it already has uh, but that will cost you 10 credits to replace a section. Um, I'll play this and maybe I'll just do a quick replace on this to see if we get a different sound on it. So let's go ahead and replace the section. I'm going to keep all this the same. There. And this will take just a second. If you'll notice, it gives us two uh, sections, uh, two options to try out. Um, looks like this was having it's a little glitchy today so obviously it's not working but that you get the gist of when it does work that's how that's what you expect if you click on this more options button here you can copy duplicate delete high hill edits crop and reload lyrics so uh pretty useful tools here if you like more of the traditional uh, doll approach you can click on this legacy button here to your left and it prepares the editor and it shows the editor and more of like what a DOS workstation would look like. And up here to your top, you got the replace section, extend, crop, remove, fade out. 
it's got all your tools here that you had on the other one and you can go in or go out so one of the coolest things about this is the new bpm monitor here so you can play your track and if you've ever uploaded a yeah, yeah track into a doll you'll notice that they are if you try to put a bpm monitor on there or a beep on there it will not it is way out of tune it's like some old michael jackson beat it stuff or some old johnny cash you know the, the tune just fluctuates so it still does that so right here when you just press play on the song you could see the bpm kind of going all over the place because it can't really for whatever reason it hasn't learned how to keep a steady beat so although when you listen to it it sounds like it's in time but it's it's not um so what you could do here though is you can click on this gear button and then you can click on the custom bpn and so if you look over to here this detected this song at 155 so we're going to go 155 and we're going to show you guys what it sounds like real quick okay so no big deal i mean it's just 155 sounds just like 155 so but what if i tap wanted to slow it way down and maybe i wanted to take it and slow it down so i can learn the song well usually when you slow down a song the pitch gets way out of out, out of balance and then you all you can really hear is just woo woo so what if i wanted to slow it down to 100 bpms and try to learn the bass line to the song let's listen So it actually keeps the pitch to what you take it to, which is amazing. And when you export it from the DAW or to from here to your DAW, it actually keeps the pitch. So the pitch is consistent when you click on this button here, the custom BPM, and you can see here it says consistent, and it actually is. I've not had any issues out of it, and it's an extraordinarily helpful tool if you're trying to do some of the tips and tricks that I'm about to show you. Okay, so one of the tips I'm gonna share with you is an answer from a question. This is from Sabia Sachiang, 7227, and I'm sorry if I messed your name up. If I upload an external audio, which is a mixed copyright free song, can I get stems from that external up uploaded audio? Asking about this new stem generator, not the old one. Well, let's find out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our library and we are going to grab a song that I recorded uh, back in 2023. You can see the timestamp here. 101023 is when I did my final mix and well, just kind of a rough mix down and recorded this song. So I uploaded this song here and I'm going to show you guys what I got. Okay, so when you upload your own song, you get a solid, it doesn't break down the chorus and the verse and all that stuff, because it didn't create it, so it doesn't really know, it doesn't understand it. Uh, but what it did do is it created this styles automatically. So it basically says this is a high energy hard rock song in the key of E major at approximately 155 BPM. And the instrumentation includes heavily distorted electric guitars and a distinct bass and so, yada yada. So okay so that's no big deal you can upload it so what if i want to extract the stems well let's check this out so let's go to the extracted stems and bam it extracted all of my stems uh so i'm going to share with you guys a version two i feel like they were the best stems i do wish you could move this window up um so let's listen to the drums real quick So there's no artifacts in that drums at all. It sounds super crisp and clean. And it sounds like the drums that I put on the track. So I'll play the whole song for you guys real quick, just because it's a little same, kind of similar to what you have been hearing already, but it's also just a touch different because it's the original version.
Okay, so uh, that's that's the original version of the other song that I have been playing for you guys. So let's go down here and let's listen to the bass and see how crystal crystal clean that came out. So I'm going to play it from the beginning. So, yeah, I mean, that is spot on. That's 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 with all the little palm hits and everything that I was doing, just trying to make the bass line more aggressive. Uh, that's, you know, really cut through in that stem. And it sounds just like the recording that I did. I do not have the original recording of that. So maybe I will actually record a new song and take it and compare the actual mix to the stem mix. That actually would, might make a good video. So... Um, now let's check out the guitar real quick. I'm going to go back to the beginning here. So obviously the guitar in this version didn't start off right away. Uh, so it kind of started right around here. Okay, so uh, I do wish that you could get multiple guitar tracks. It put, unfortunately, layers everything into one track, but you know, this is a great start, so I'm not going to complain. So, to the answer to that question is can you extract stems from audio that you have uploaded yourself? The answer is 100% yes. So, let's keep moving on. Okay, moving on to the next question. If you do a track that has a horrible guitar sound, can you swap out the sound of the guitar for another? That's actually a fantastic question. So, I've had to do some thinking on this and I wish that you could go into the stem separator and regenerate a stem track. That would kind of be cool. Like if you just had a regenerate button over here, that'd be kind of sick. Um, I hope you're listening. So, you know, add MIDI. Okay. So from this standpoint, no, but if you got creative, you totally could. So let me hear me out. So what I did was I took the stems of uh, not this version because then oh yeah so i took this song and dropped it into suno and added some lyrics and then i got the new version of this song that i happen to love so let's go ahead and upload that into the editor so this is the so song that i uploaded the other song and i got this song out of it and uh i feel like it took it and produced it kind of like Rick Rubin would, you know, like it really took it. And so let's make this song breathe and make it a little bit heavier. And that's what it did. So here's the kind of the updated version. I'll just let you play, play a snippet of it. Okay, so you can see that it's pretty upbeat. Used my exact riffs and uh, changed my bass tones just a touch. But, you know, there's other versions that it did not. Uh, but used my exact riffs and I feel like I freaking love it. So, that being said, um, what if I want to change the guitar in this song? So, I'm going to go over to the stems. I'm going to see my extracted stems because I downloaded them already. And then I would take this guitar track. Let's sew it out. So what if I'm like, man, I hate this. I hate that guitar. That guitar track's no good. What if I took that and downloaded it into a doll, right? Okay, so then once I do that, and then what if I took this and then I just remixed the whole song and got a different guitar track and then made it at the 155 BPM. So that's what I ended up doing. I, I took this, I just, re, I just remixed the song again 
in the library here. And then the new version, I got the guitar song, the, the track, I put it back at the 155 BPMs. The track sounded just a little bit different. And then I went into um, Logic. I lined up the track just a little bit. I just had to make a little adjustment. And what it was was the start time, like the count in. It was just a hair off. But once I lined it out, the whole song was uh, clear. So let me show that for you real quick. So what I did was I dropped it down into the DAW. And this is the replacement guitar. I named it this. And this is the original. And so I'm going to play you guys a track of what the replacement guitar sounded like with the new song. And then I'm going to play you just like what the original song sounded like. So let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> So, you know, there's some differences in it, uh, definitely a difference in the playing, uh, the lead track is a bit higher. Uh, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to end this song, the video with this song. You guys can check it out, see if you like it or not. Uh, but you know, that's all I have for now. Uh, so you can do vocals the same exact same way as you do these, um, uh, this guitar track. Uh, if it was me though, I would just probably replace the guitar track with myself playing. But if you don't know how to play guitar or any instrument that's you know you want to replace, this is the method that works best for me. Uh, so, but you know what? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed all these tips and tricks. Uh, and uh, you guys yet liking the editing software on Suno? If not, leave a comment. If you do like it, leave a comment. And uh, if there's something else that you'd like to see uh, Suno come out with, some kind of other tool, just let, just leave a comment about that as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.